Hi guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easy to troubleshoot your network connection if you have a slow or no internet connection at all. So let's get started. I'm going to explain to you what are the two main devices that let you connect to the web. First is the modem. This is the device that your internet service provider or ISP set up during the initial installation of your internet. This device will let you connect to the web by assigning you a public IP address from your ISP. Second is the router. This device will be connected to your modem for it to distribute the internet connection to your local area network or LAN by assigning your home devices with a valid LAN IP address. As of the moment, usually, your ISP will provide you a two-in-one device, meaning a modem and at the same time also act as a router. They do this for them to easily give you support if you have a connection issue. So we don't need the separate router anymore. Now, the first thing you need to do is to check your internet connection you need to go to speedtest.net. This is a website that tests the speed of your internet. You need to select a valid server for your ISP to have an accurate result. If your speed is very slow from what you subscribe or no internet at all, the next thing you need to do is do a power cycle of your modem or meaning you need to restart it. So how to properly restart a modem? What you need to do is unplug its power source and wait for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, plug it back in and wait for it to reboot properly. So why restarting your modem will help you solve your internet connection issue? There are two reasons. First. All softwares are not perfect, so the firmware inside this modem can have a bug anytime and by restarting it will put it in the initial state when the firmware is properly working. Second, maybe there's some configuration update being done by your internet service provider that may disrupt your internet connection and by restarting your modem will let you get the updated config and will restore your internet connection back. If that didn't solve your internet connection problem, the next thing you need to do is to isolate further the issue. You need a laptop or a desktop computer and connect it directly to your modem router using hardware cable. So what you need to do is connect the one end to the LAN one of your modem router and then the other part to the local area network of your laptop or desktop computer. Once you connected it to your modem router, the next thing you need to do is to access the admin console of your modem router. So that depends uh, per internet service provider. You need to research on how to do that. And what you need to do next is to disable the Wi-Fi connection of your modem router. By doing that, we are sure that you really have one device connected to your internet. Next, do a speed test again. And if the problem still persists, we are sure that the issue is on your ISP. But if your internet connection becomes okay by doing this, we are sure that the issue is inside your home network. What you need to do next is to change the Wi-Fi password of your modem router and connect one by one your home devices. You need to check who's eating up your bandwidth. Maybe there's an illegal application like torrent application who's eating up your bandwidth or you just don't know your neighbor is also connecting to your home network and contributes to the very slow internet connection. 
And just an extra tip, if you are connected wirelessly and you're living in a crowded area, be sure to connect to 5 GHz network. Most of the modem router has dual band technology and you need to connect to 5 GHz to have the less interference using Wi-Fi connection. So that's it guys. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you find this video useful and see you on the next one.